Hello, I'm MDX Cat and welcome back to the episode of my Minecraft Xbox Update Adventures Let's Play. This is the Let's Play where I'm playing through the various updates that have come out for Minecraft on the Xbox, building stuff, killing stuff, and of course, destroying stuff. And today, I'm actually going to be working with a brand new block that's actually an old block in disguise, because if you don't recall, the pumpkin and the jack-o'-lanterns have existed in Minecraft for a very long time. Since some of the oldest Secret Friday updates, they're some of the oldest features in Minecraft, and everyone recognizes the very friendly jack-o'-lantern just, you know, by its face. However, in 1.13, or 1.4 for Minecraft Bedrock, they actually decided to change the pumpkins from being a, you know, thing which generates with a face in by default, which is pretty weird when you think about it, honestly, to being a, a you know, a, a kind of like a farming item that is just a pure pumpkin. You know, it's a square pumpkin still, so not exactly accurate, but it is a pumpkin that looks like this by default, and then you have to carve it yourself. And this means that as of this update, any pumpkins that you had that weren't carved, you know, as in like weren't placed down, uh, and that also were not carved into jack-o'-lanterns have now turned into uncarved pumpkins. And usually this would be kind of a bad thing because like, oh, something you had before isn't as good. But I think in this case, it's kind of an interesting thing because these pumpkins can obviously be used for kind of like orange pixel arts because they don't have the face kind of ruining the texture. It's a very solid on all sides kind of thing. Like, but again, let me, let me show you just uh, a little bit through here. Use my trident. As you can see, looking through the pumpkin, it's just orange on all sides. So it makes a very vibrant color. And because of that, I figure let's go ahead in today's video. Let's use them for a couple of builds because I have at least a couple of ideas. And that's what we're we'll gonna be doing. Hopefully you all do enjoy this episode of the Minecraft Xbox Update Adventures all focusing on uncarved pumpkins. So, also I know my inventory is a mess. I don't know how this happens like every <laughs> <laughs> every, every week I'm like, I'm gonna fix it, and then I have shock boxes, and then it doesn't really get fixed, it just gets worse again. It's just a problem with inventory management. I've got like, uh, I've got like the Minecraft version of Hoarder Syndrome, where it's just like, oh no, I'm gonna totally need that, that one golden apple any time now, like, I, I don't wanna get rid of it just in case that comes up, and those four oak clocks, uh, they're gonna come in like, literally, uh, you know, the moment I want, uh, I, I wanna get rid of them, they'll come in again, so, just because of all of that sort of stuff, I haven't gotten rid of stuff, but it's fine. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one item in a chest, so I feel like I've made some impact, and there we go. Now the inventory, as you can see, much better than it was before. Anyway, so now let's go and get myself some uh, blocks to go with these pumpkins, because uh, although one of the things I want to make with pumpkins is like a, a little memorial, I want to make a carrot out of the pumpkins, because I have a carrot above my carrot farm, but I feel like it's not a big enough carrot, and it's also not as good a carrot as I think I can make using these pumpkins. So as kind of like a carrot op, I'm going to be make using this and some lime or some uh, green concrete to kind of make a, a nice little combination to use new, or, or, you know, 1.4, 1.4, Two etc. blocks to make something really wonderful. That's the goal, at least. Let's see if it works out, and hopefully, uh, it's a fun little time. And in today's episode, as well as talking about the all important issues of my hoarding uh, problem, so I've got green concrete, but I've also got uh, green concrete powder and lime concrete powder. So I think lime will make a better carrot, and we'll, we'll bring like a whole extra stack because, again, I've got a hoarding problem. Actually, you know, I'll just take one full stack. Uh, wait, no, don't put that in there. Uh, I'll take one full stack. That'll be enough. See, slowly fixing my uh, horrific issues, and now we'll fly over to the other side of my world, where my carrot farm actually is, and where we're going to be placing this today, and yeah, let's go, and let's talk about uh, what I've been up to this past week, and because I've been doing a couple of episodes a week for the last two weeks, don't worry, that's going to stop until 1.5 now, um, I want to just kind of like, uh, you know, briefly mention that like, you know, it's only been like three days or something, but the most exciting thing I've done during that time, and you're going to this one's gonna blow you away, right? I've been cleaning the taps in my house. That's right, this is the top-notch, high-quality Toy Cat Life update I know you've been waiting for. You're like, oh, has Toy Cat died? Has he, uh, has he gone married? Has he, you know, gone exciting stuff like that? No, I assure you, uh, the, the bigger event in my life has been the tap cleaning. Uh, and honestly, it's just such a ridiculous thing because I live in, I didn't even realize that this was like a me-specific thing. I thought I just, you know, you have to clean your taps every like three months or something, right? And I was just not keeping up with it. But it turns out that I live in an area of the world where the water is hard. You know, it's called hard water. Maybe you live there too. But basically, uh, most populated regions of the world don't. With a, you know, Again, it's, it's, it's like a lot of countries have some hard, some soft water places. But basically, there's a lot more minerals and stuff like that in my water, which potentially leads to, you know, like long-term health, no, not health problems, but like health risks, I would say. And also, it means that like, uh, you know, a lot of, I think it's called lime scale, but like gunk builds up on all of my water appliances. And I never realized, I, I always just assumed I was terrible at cleaning stuff, but it turns out my water's just hard. And that's not a sentence you get to say very often. So I guess enjoy while that's going on there. So yeah, I wanna, I wanna uh, make my pumpkin, my, my carrot pumpkin, my pumpkin carrot out here somewhere. Cause I've got this kind of wasted space and like, you know, I'd, it's just like a big bit of ocean. So let's make a carrot back here. Just cause again, there's a carrot there already. Let's have a carrot back here as well. So I'll make a little bridge out of pumpkins. Oh, you can't place pumpkins, even the uncarved ones on flat ground. So, so 
this has always been a fact of car pumpkins, but you can't place them, um, you know, like, uh, you can't place them like this, even if you want to, it literally won't let you. They have to be placed on top of a block. You can later remove the block underneath them, which is kind of like why it's silly. But uh, yeah, if we want to place these, we have to first place a dirt pathway, and then we have to turn it into it. Okay, you know what, fine, that's that's cool. We can do that, I'm, I'm, I'm a seasoned, uh, dirt remover, and yeah, and then we'll make our, our start for thing, just over here, and then we have to remove some dirt, but it, it's it's all fine, really. So yeah, let's uh, grab ourselves some pumpkins, because they, they made pick lock stop working for a bit, so just keep that in mind. That's why my builds, you might be thinking like, Toy Cat, why open the inventory? It takes seconds of our life away that we'll never get back, and the answer is because uh, I kind of have to. So, and now we can remove the dirt underneath them. Again, it's kind of weird that you can do it like this, like, You'd figure if it was so important they were placed in a block that they wouldn't be. But it's just one of those really old Minecraft restrictions that they throw into bedrock just to make it feel a bit more natural. And, you know, it's it's hard to argue against it too much, right? And now we're going to start placing our carrot, I guess, up here. So, yeah, a carrot is a pretty easy thing to make. Like, it's just like, oh, yeah, well, you start with a base. Oh, this is going to be really tricky because I need to have... Um, Dirt on all of the bases because <laughs> oh no <laughs> and uh, another little glitch is if you open your inventory while you're crouching when you unopen your inventory you won't be crouching anymore so make sure you know that or you might just <laughs> you might just fall off like I did and it's pretty embarrassing but yeah I've been cleaning my taps because uh, it's been like I didn't even realize that like I, I just assumed I was bad at it and I was like oh it actually is it's not all my fault just partially my fault and it's like, you have to get this like super heavy duty, duty, like, you know, cleaner for it. And it's like, okay, that's been a thing, but it's so satisfying. Like I will say like, I thought maybe this is me a sign that I'm like getting horrifically old or something, but like it is, it is actually quite a satisfying task to like remove the little gunk slowly off a tap. And you know, all I'm trying to say of this is like every now and then you have a realization that like, oh yeah, things, things are different when you're doing things for yourself. And one of those things is apparently uh, trying to clean stuff up like usually I hate it beyond belief like oh my god This is like I could be playing games right now You know I could be working on some giant carrot carrot nonsense in my let's say world, but instead I'm here You know like uh, dealing with a tap, but if it's like your own thing There's like a little bit of pride that comes at the end like right now I I kind of want you guys to see my taps I feel I would feel pretty excited if I could show them off to you all but yeah, it's a <laughs> It's it's a weird thing. It was a realization that maybe I've gotten to that like sad stage in my life Or maybe it's a good sad stage like again it I think things are only sad from the perspective of not being in that stage, right? Like, I think uh, if, if you enjoy something, it doesn't matter what the rest of the world thinks. But it, it almost seems to matter, like, what past you would have thought, right? Like, if you promised yourself, like, I'm never gonna, um, you know, like, eat meat ever again, and then, like, tw 20 minutes later you're eating meat and you're like, ah, oh, I can stop. Then you feel bad because you've made, you've almost, like, betrayed past you. But I, I think almost that's why you shouldn't make broads, like, because a, a lot of people are really close-minded about a lot of different things, right? Like, a lot of people will say, like, oh, yeah, I would never be one of the people that does, um, you know, that tries, uh, that eats uh, this type of food or something. Like, if you're, if you're close-minded to a type of food and you're like, oh, yeah, that's, that's the gross food. I bet people who eat that, or they're all just terrible human beings, uh, then you'll never eat it. And even if you get to the situation where you kind of want to, you're like, oh, now I feel bad. I'm conflicted with myself. And basically what I'm saying here is you, shouldn't, you should never bind a future version of you to do something, because future you doesn't necessarily, oh wait, actually wait, this isn't correct. I think if we're gonna have a carrot, we want the top to go inwards a little bit before it goes outwards again. So like, we'll have it come in a little bit, uh, and then also, yeah, some, something like that. And then we'll come off again with our little uh, green concrete powder. Again, this could look terrible. It's been, it's been a while since I've made any form of carrot based build, but I think that should roughly look like a carrot. I, actually, you know what, this top, place a third one there and then like, a block up there. Kind of have the carrot top not just be like a consistent thing, but a going off the edge thing. And now if we fly around and look at this, this should be the most wonderful carrot. Oh, it's... It's not bad. Um, it's better than I was expecting, actually. But it definitely has issues. So now we'll just remove the dirt, because that's definitely a part of the issues. And then we'll remove this last pumpkin here, too. Because I think that probably is getting in the way. In fact, we'll remove most of the, most of the pumpkins. Just have like a little pumpkin walkway here. So remove that as well. And I think it looks better by comparison, actually. I think we maybe made a mistake down here. Yeah, I think if I could redo something, and you know what, because I'm still here, I totally can, I would go ahead and I would uh, place an extra. Actually, you know what? There is there is something a bit charming about it, right? The way this carrot's shaped. I like it, actually. You know what? I, I like this pumpkin. I'm going to take back my previous criticisms off it and say I made a good pumpkin. And again, I think it's good to... Uh, Trying to bind future you is a good idea sometimes. I, I I think I expressed this idea in the last Let's Play episode where I was like, you know, 
the the thing that defines success is just how well you can follow through and past you's idea. Um, but there's there's a lot of things you shouldn't force future you to do, and it's like you know you shouldn't you shouldn't say like I'm never going to eat sushi because I don't like Japanese people because I mean one I mean I mean if you actually you know if you have a good reason to hate Japanese people like I I I had a girlfriend once uh, very very like maybe two years ago and she was really really into Asian culture but just hated the Vietnamese people right. Like, I can't even understand why she's just like, every time I meet them, they're so unpleasant. I guess that that's a reason, but like, she was <laughs> very, very anti-Vietnamese people. Like, loved every other type of Asian person. Like, you know, was like, sort of like, you know, kawaii, uh, love me some Japan, uh, sort of thing. You know, like, um, the uh, Nico, whatever her name is from the latest Deadpool film. She's like that sort of girl, but hated Vietnamese people and therefore refused to like eat or try their food or anything. It was like, not, no, no because that's the Vietnamese people's foods. And one, that's a sign that sounds crazy. So if you have a girlfriend like that, probably a red flag, by the way, watch out. I mean, it didn't, didn't work out for me, clearly, by the fact that I said ex-girlfriend. If I didn't say that, then don't worry. I'm, I'm not with the Vietnamese. I, it wasn't even like a hatred. It was just like a, nah, no, not gonna deal with it. But it's like, if you bind yourself like that, Vietnamese food might be the worst and might be the best in the world. It might be the worst in the world too. I don't know. I generally haven't tried it. Maybe, maybe I secretly hate Vietnamese people. Maybe I'm telling this story about myself. But I, I think the, the reality behind this is just like trying to bind future you to stupid stuff. Like, cause everyone, everyone can look at that story and be like, that's stupid, right? Like, <laughs> one, I mean, like, I, I, fair enough if you're like scarred, like maybe, you know, maybe, maybe one of them like tried to rob you or do something bad to you and you just, uh, you know, it's, it's fine to have like a scar point like that, but don't try and bind future you to be like, oh yeah, never trying their food. And also I'm gonna once a week have a hate session, just, just themed at, you know, people from X place. Cause it's like, you know, that's, that's, that, that's not going to be too effective. It's not, it's not only ridiculous sounding on paper, but it's also just entirely ridiculous in every single other sense of the word. So we're going to go back to the house now. Uh, I, I like my carrot a lot. I actually, since I have uh, two more fireworks, that's one to go back to the carrot and appreciate it. Say, oh gosh, a creeper just blew up. Well, that's one to go back to the carrot or one to go back home. So uh, yeah, it's interesting actually that the creeper sparkles don't actually show up until you uh, you look at them apparently. Like, or they don't go away till you look at them. There's a lot of things on bedrock that work that way actually, where you have to look at something to see it. Yeah, trying to bind future you to current use whims is always a silly idea. So yeah, the, the right carrot looks better than the left carrot. I think there's definitely gonna have to be some improvement in the future. But again, you can see the point of these these pumpkins, the fact that they work as a almost flawless, just orange block, it's, it's nice, right? So next up, I'm gonna go to this place right here. In fact, I wanna show you why I'm going there first. Because if you spot at the very start of the episode, one of the few things you can only do on a bedrock that you can't do on the console edition is have a higher render distance. So uh, I've got 22 chunks on right now. I always have 22 unless there's performance issues. Uh, so I can see all the way to that mountain. I couldn't see that mountain back on the Xbox One. I think 18 chunks was the render distance there. Um, so because of that, I now have access to this mountain. And I figure a way I should forever kind of commemorate the, um, the bedrock edition switchover because it's a big deal in my world. Like I still sometimes now I'm like, oh, this is this is scary stuff. I, you know, like is that even a good idea? Is that me like abandoning everything? Is that is that is that the channel kid? I I know I have these thoughts all the time, and um, yeah, I basically I figure like you know let's let's have a little commemorative thing of like you know we made a big decision there. I think I think commemorizing events like any event is on one hand kind of stupid. Like really, I mean like surely we'll remember it otherwise. But I also think it's like an important part of the remembering process. Like. I always had this thing in school where I would, you know, I'd always be told like, oh, you've got to write everything down in a little journal. Because when we, when I started school, they just introduced the whole, they didn't call it a journal, they called it a, a planner, maybe? Um, but it was a big book, like 500 pages long. It's got every single date on there. Every time you got homework, you had to write it down. And every week, your teacher or your tutor or whatever, uh, they were called tutors, but they were teachers. Um, <laughs> but your teacher had to sign off on it and they had to be like, yes, you have in fact used it. Uh, correctly this week and you've done all your homework because you'd have to tick when you did your homework The basic idea was like let's organize our kids so they'll they'll learn how to do you know basic Grown-up people work or whatever, but for me it was like no I'm not gonna write it down and I just pretend to write stuff down because you know your teachers that would give the homework Would also check that you write it down and I'd be like oh yeah I totally am right now and I just scribble in there sometimes so it's like trust me that says do science homework by then and the, the truth is is like whenever I cared about remembering something or even if Every time I was going to write something but wanted to prove that I didn't need to, I could remember anything that way. 
But you have to go, like anything, sorry, anything that I wrote down also, I can remember without looking at the book. But anytime that I'm just like, uh, whatever, I, I always remember things without looking at the book anyway. I would never remember them. Part of, the, part of the remembering process is not necessarily the reading what you've written back, but it's actually the, uh, you know, part of remembering what you previously had done is actually the process of remembering it, which sounds ridiculous. Like, remembering works because you remember, but that really is how my brain works, at least. And I, I thought that was kind of shocking. So anyway, um, today uh, we're gonna memorize the day, which I believe, I'm kind of scared now, because I've like got it a little bit blank. It's like, I think it was the 21st of May. If it's not, then you're not. We're making that date regardless. Uh, so the 21st of May, uh, 2018. So I guess we'll have like, uh, I, I don't know what I'm doing here actually, but we'll have 2018 uh, be our big, big day thing. Oh, we kind of have to like make big structures and then just remove part of it. So to make a two, for instance, we need a five by five. So we'll remove this here and then we'll just like chop out the blocks in between. So 20, 21st of May, 2015. It's going to be kind of tricky to do a two. It's, you know, it's, it's annoying the way twos work, but again, we're, we're stuck to it. We're committed to it anyway. So if it's a two, it goes from the left to the right and then back to there. I hope this is a two and not a five. There you go. We got a two, as you can see, it's very nice. And then we'll have a one, which kind of has to be just as wide, but we're running out of space here, so <laughs> we'll be careful about that one. Uh, so the 20, yeah, we'll, we'll have like just a single space gap. 21st, so this is gonna be tricky, but we'll just kind of leave it like that. Actually, that's that's not gonna work, is it? So 21st of May, this is when a thing happens. So yeah, we're commemorating the event so that we always remember that's when things happened. There's always a, a memory of the time before. 21 and then a dot. Made out of pumpkins, maybe? Yeah, sure, you know, dot made out of pumpkins. Uh, dot, and we'll make a little little pathway here just so we got something to properly stand on. Um, so yeah, I, I've always thought that's important. And it's it's because for the longest time I was like, why do birthdays matter? I, I used to hate my birthday beyond belief. Like, oh, this, this day is just a normal day, but with like extra effort involved. But then at a certain point, you're just like, you know what? Let's just go with the magic. People like birthdays, sure. I'm, I'm on board the birthday train now, apparently. And it does make things a bit easier just to kind of like, accept the the way things are in some ways. But I also think changing changing how things are is also important in its own way. Should we go straight for a five or should we do something in between? I realize we have to be really careful about my, my block usage now. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna physically get this done. So if it's a five, it goes from the right to the left. So I have to place these and then immediately get rid of them, I think. Oh no, yeah, I've, I've got a real problem here where I have to like, place blocks, get rid of them, place them. It's, it's gonna be tricky, but yeah, I think a lot of people have a lot of bad ideas all the time. Like, I, I think we need every now and then people to think like, why are we still doing this thing? Um, you know, it's, it's, it's not good that we're doing insert thing here. But on the other hand, it's also like, you know, everyone has their own view of how the world should be. And sometimes people have really good opinions that are important to know, I think. Like, you know, it is important that someone uh, you know, 1984, for instance, the idea that like, oh yeah, surveillance is, is bad. Like if you, just because you have nothing to uh, hide, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't want to hide it. You know, stuff like basic thoughts like this, that someone's like, oh yeah, uh, you, you don't, they're not intuitive, so you, someone has to think about them. Also, I definitely don't have enough to do the rest of this. So we could leave it at 25, uh, 21.05, uh, or we could get some more pumpkins. But I don't think I really have any other option here, right? <laughs> you know, I kind of like 21.5 dot and then, I could do an eight maybe. No, I, I literally, I can't do anything with that. You know, I'll do the date in green concrete powder because reasons, Tr trust me, reasons. They're, they're good enough for this. So we're gonna fly over here and then, uh, and then we'll do a, a tiny little 18 because you know, it's gotta be stylistic. Actually, no, we don't need to do it tiny. So dot and then 18. This, this is where I wish I had more dirt, eh? <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, we'll just have our one be like this. Actually, yeah, if we just remove the, um... Wait, remove all of this. Okay, here we go. We're gonna get this done. It's gonna be wonderful. And we'll have a little, little 18 here. But yeah, everyone has their own idea of how the world should function. But a lot of people have really bad ideas that I'm really glad we don't have in existence. And one of, one of the things that I feel like... We, I guess we shouldn't teach it because it's like... It's very anti... You know, it, it's anti-person, anti-individual, anti-whatever uh, good thing you might be in favor of. But I think I think one of the key things that I would love to be like properly taught in like schools and stuff is like, oh yeah, so uh, you know, for instance, principle of like democracy, really good. We like it because it's the we we don't like it because it's the best. We like it because it's good. I feel like if we explained, if I think I think the value of like things being good but not perfect 
it's something we need more of in the world. Like, because, <laughs> you know, especially with social media, everything has to be the best all the time, right? But the truth is, there's a lot of things in life that are actually just pretty good. You know, like, yeah, they're, they're acceptable. I'm not, I'm not against this. I just, I think it's better than the alternatives and it's the best we've got so far. Because but if everyone chases the best all the time, I mean, like, it's literally impossible, right? And it also misses out on, like, a key thing of, like, you know, sometimes it's just, sometimes you have a pretty good time. It's like, you know, co having conversations with some people uh, in real life. You know the type of guy that's, like, because personally, I, I prefer not talking to people. But if it comes to the situation where we're going to talk, commit to the conversation. Don't pull out your phone and start doing whatever you do. Uh, I, you know, lots of weird examples of that in real life. But, um... You know, the sort of person that does that is like, oh, well, this conversation, I, I could probably have a better one over here. And like, if you if you spend the whole time chasing the best, sometimes you'll find it, but I think not all the time. And that's a that's a lesson I think we should teach. So, but yeah, my point being is everyone has a has an idea of how the wash beats. Everyone has an idea, just as controversial sounding as that one, because that was a, you know, that what the two things I just said there, pretty pretty anti normal world, right? I'm gonna go get some torches actually. And some more pumpkins. Uh, <laughs> they're, they're not they're not what you would normally say in the world. They're not widespread thoughts. And are therefore probably controversial in some way. I, I think there's a lot of people who are gonna listen to something like, you know, I used to like Toy Cat's uh, videos and then he and then he went off on that crazy whatever whatever that even was. But I think I think yeah, I, I think everyone has their own thoughts on the world. And I think it's weird how we decide as a society who gets whose thoughts matter the most, right? Like, because <laughs> we clearly need to have a system where like, well, if everyone has ideas, we can't do everyone's ideas and we can't do nothing. So we have this weird system of like, it's a combination of natural evolution. Okay, so wait, is this, a, oh, that's 32. Okay, so we'll, we'll make 64 torches because that's a nice stack. And then we'll put 16 of this in there. So the next time I want to make torches, it's a lot easier for me. See, and now we can fly back there, get that done. See, that actually looks pretty good besides the, the 18, which looks pretty trashy, if we're being honest. I, sh I actually quite like that one too. And we have to work on the mountain to make it look more natural. But still, if, if we exclude a lot of different things that we just had to exclude, things are looking pretty good. And let's, let's make some fireworks, treat ourselves to a nice ride up there, shall we? I, I've gone back to being poor and having a uh, duration one fireworks, by the way. I hope, I hope you can all accept this uh, downgrade in my living standards. But um. Yeah, I, I feel like uh, everyone has their own view on the world. We have a weird system of determining who who's gets to the top. and But I think it's a good thing that most people can't have their views. Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. Darn it. <laughs> I almost think it's a good thing that a lot of people don't have their views at the top. Because I think, I think there needs to be some way. I, I wish there was, like, a profession for, like, idea haver, right? Every, everyone has this thought at some point. Like, oh, I really want to work in games. I think... They'll want someone like me to be the ideas man. I reckon that's what every game studio needs. Definitely not coders or programmers or artists. No, those things, those things must be growing on trees. What they really need is a man to sit there and tell them what to do. I wish there was a thing like that for the world. Because I think one, one of the things I would do, like, okay. So if I was like in charge of the world, I don't know how, who would put me in charge and, you know, they'd, they'd get fired if they did. But <laughs> hypothetically, if, you know, King Toy Cat is in charge, because... If you're gonna pick like a, a role in the world, you're gonna pick king. You're not gonna be like, oh, I'd like to be accountable to uh, these these people. You're like, no, nope, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a monarch or, or like a president for life or something like that. And then I'm also, oh no, wait, supreme leader. I think, you know, the, the North Korea model. I think that's the most power you can have. You know, he he's he's there, you know, super chubby while his people aren't eating. If you if you have that much power, you have the power to do like anything else on top of that. So, yeah, if if, if I could be supreme leader. I think it'd be fun just to like sit around and like come up with weird ideas and see which ones work because I reckon you can't, it's really hard to control how people behave but it, it's really interesting to develop the systems under which they do behave and I think I think a good example of this that I've been thinking about a lot this past week because I mean obviously the Mo Yang thing comes up a whole bunch of people ask like so do you think like this and this about you know how they're doing stuff or like you know why surely they should invite you because then they could talk about whatever they clearly seem to disagree on. There's a bunch of stuff like that that comes up uh, whenever, you know, the Mo Yang meetings come up. Also, let's put some torches in there. No, that, that looks ugly. Let's put some torches on the pumpkins in between there to, like, signify. Oh, uh, it's a little bit too high up. You know, I'll place some green concrete powder here. It's not a good thing, uh, but it, it, it works. And then I'll also remove that torch, which I saw, but it doesn't exist. Uh, put a torch over here. And there we go. Look at that. Look how wonderful 
my little thing looks. So I'm gonna go back to my house, we're gonna sit, and I'm just gonna finish off by saying, um, I think the way people work doesn't make any sense, but that's one of the most interesting things about the world. But never think that you should be supreme leader, because everyone thinks they should be supreme leader, and most people would do a bad job. And I, I think anyone, I really, really like that. What do you guys think? You guys, you guys a fan? You see what I mean? Orange blocks just work. If that was pumpkins, it'd be garish. You'd be able to see the, the bright to it. But now it's like a commemoration forever of what I think is the official date. And before I go, I'm, I'm actually going to check that with all of you. Like, live, go into my thing. It was, it was the 21st of May, the first episode in the brand new Bedrock world. And I'm excited for the ones that come in the future. I still have to play around with so many Bedrock features. Uh, sorry, so many both Bedrock, but also new update features. This whole series was started as an opportunity for me to play around with both Bedrock and the aquatic updates. So week by week, we'll play around more stuff. This week, we played around with pumpkins. And tomorrow or next week or whenever the next episode is, uh, let's get some more features like them, them cute dolphins or soon to be those turtles or some fish in some buckets. I reckon there's lots of fun to be had from here on out. Uh, hopefully some of what I said made sense today and hopefully if you're offended um, Then you don't hate me forever, but yeah, those are my thoughts and I, I guess I'll see you all in the next video